Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my garden. Here I am with my roses hanging out, okay? Now, the season currently here in Oregon, oh, my pine tree, is that Oregon, this season, they're about to stop blooming, okay? So, roses are the most high vibrational flower, okay? So, I absolutely love roses. My favorite, most beautiful flower. And I also love organic products with roses, with rose petals, right? Infused or whatever the case. I love it. Absolutely love it. Rose petals have many, many benefits. If you are not aware, please do your research, okay? Roses are so high vibrational, like I said, right? So when it comes to rose products or any product, really, it's really important that you note that if it's going on your skin, it should be organic, it should be straight out of mama earth, it should be raw and from straight from the sun, you know what I mean? Because it's going on your skin. And especially if it's your face, you know, your face got all these pores, like, you know what I mean? So when it comes to rose spray or oil on your face, it's really important to note that you know where it's grown, right? So if you are someone who's thinking about selling rose products such as rose face spray there's a really important thing to consider first of all number one is do you have access to roses do you grow roses and if you don't then you're gonna have to decide where you can have access to buying roses and where those roses come from now if you have your own garden and you happen to be growing roses which could take a really long time then you're in luck because it could be way easier for for you but i feel like most people don't grow roses you know what i mean but i happen to grow them okay but again it just depends what season because if you're out of season then you don't have roses to grow so let's say you don't have a garden then you have to figure out where you are going to purchase these roses who you are supporting when you're buying them now if you're buying them from the store you have to make sure that they are organic because this is going on your skin especially if you are selling this to someone you have to make sure that the rose petals are organic okay so let's say that you don't want to buy them in person in a store you can't even find any wherever you live then online is a beautiful place now online the other thing is you have to do your research because a lot of these people are just selling just to sell and who knows what they're selling they could be lying right so a really good place to buy rose petals to make these infusions and rose products is on etsy etsy is a really beautiful place to buy but again you have to do research because nowadays a lot of people on etsy be selling weird stuff from like other sites like alibaba or whatever it's called that are not actually handmade or grown by them you know it's just a bunch of lies so you have to be careful do your research make sure you read the reviews and that it is a good source right good supply once you get your hands on some good supply what you want to do is that if you're buying it online most likely you're gonna buy the dry flower dry rose petals which is good you can still create everything I actually recommend you create the products with the dry petals anyways because if you use fresh rose petals then you are at risk of the product getting moldy and such so it's better to use dry rose petals the next step is to do your research on creating the product okay make sure that it is a solid product <laughs> that you are selling and putting out there to share with other people okay once you have your product and you have your recipe you know how you're going to make it then you want to do research on what would be the best uh, container for you to ship this and sell this in for example if it's a rose spray do you want it to be like a cheap plastic so that you don't have to spend so much money on expenses or do you want it to be a fancy glass bottle and then your total price will be more expensive 
these are things to think about what box are you going to ship it in do you want it to look cute and presentable when you ship it to this person or are you just starting from the ground and you're starting with what you have also really important to note that when you are making the products if this is for someone else you have to follow you know safety procedures and make sure you wear gloves and that everything is sanitized including the bottles that you sell them in even if you buy them new because this is for somebody else so let's say you have your product all figured out you know how you're going to ship it to the individual now you have to figure out where am i going to sell these on right so going back to etsy i feel like etsy is a really good platform to sell these kind of products on some people will disagree although i will say that etsy is very competitive so you have to do your research on your competitors as in the price that they're selling it in right if they're selling a bottle for 15 maybe you could offer it for 14 or less you know what i mean and yeah i mean you have competitors so you do your research i i say that etsy is a good option when you're first starting because it allows you to um market with Etsy ads which I think are amazing but then again you gotta play smart with your expenses to make sure you're actually making profit. You can definitely use other e-commerce platforms such as Shopify or there's a lot cartel or whatever it's called there's a few out there uh, but the thing with those that means that you have to bring your own traffic to your website which means you have to market your business outside of it which means that you most likely have to use social media or run ads which again then is an expense so another option is that if you have an audience on your social media then you can also promote your products on there so it kind of just depends like where you stand with everything either way you need a platform and it's really that simple put your product out there and the most important thing I'll say is do not give up because if you don't see sales within the few first few days or weeks maybe even months then it's okay it doesn't mean that your product is horrible it just means that you have to tune things a little maybe market a little different make the pictures stand out more and that's usually the case right because people are out there looking for these products but most likely there's a competitor which means that you have to stand out more so that's pretty much it but i do have experience making rose oil and rose spray and i have had success selling these and sharing them with people around the world so if i can do it you can do it and yeah it's really fun too I love roses and if you don't plan on selling them you could just make it for yourself <laughs> same tips apply make sure that it's organic those are really all my tips you know you really just got to put yourself out there just do it stop waiting stop overthinking and just do it because if you don't do it then you're never gonna know if it's gonna happen but if you do it then that means that you're in action and if you're in action that means there's momentum if there's momentum that means you're doing stuff and when you do stuff that means that stuff usually happens so something's going to happen if anything you're just going to learn and get better and <laughs> yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope that you're feeling beautiful